Okay, so what I'm gonna show you is actually going to reduce our costs overall when we're running ads, because now we're gonna have specific keywords and terms inside all of these images, because when Google crawls our page, it's going to read this as more relevant and very hyper-focused. And also, what's gonna be interesting is if you have your store for, let's just say, about two months, you're, you're even going to be able to get free traffic, literally free organic SEO traffic. Um, and I mean, it could get really wild if you just keep on keeping on. So, and but don't count on that. The main thing is actually how we're gonna structure our alt text within all of these images. And the specific keywords we put into each of these images is very important and something that we would actually want to revisit as we start scaling to put in those winning keywords in all of these images to just make our page like just completely beefed up to the max. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing is I wanna click on this image and over to the left, I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna see alt tags. So under alt tag, we can actually treat this like a shopping title. So I will actually put in first what the product is, which is a fish finder. Then I wanna put in, let's just say a winning keyword that I think would just be a winning keyword. Um, we could do handheld fish finder. We can do, um, we can do sonar fish finder. And truthfully, um, if I was to add in one more, I'd want it to not like continuously overuse fish finder. I want it to actually use a different term, okay? But the way I like to do it is I only have one, two, three. I'll have anywhere from three to four um, phrases or terms of these, right? So right now I only have three. So this is good because I actually wanna save it. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it but now I wanna apply that to all of my images. So now for this image, I'm not gonna put like, hey, customer holding a fish. Instead, I'm gonna say, you know, best fish finder, you know, 2020. Um, make sure you spell it right, whoops. We could put best fish finder 2020. We'd even put something more generic, like how to catch fish with sonar. Um, all these terms, I just wanna get in different keywords. Like even putting in anything is really, really good. Um, this is so underutilized because people don't really know about it. So how to catch fish with sonar. And so this is actually really good because we have a ton of other images, right? And we wanna make sure to put in different keywords for images. We can use, we can overuse some of them and that's fine. But the main thing is that we wanna make it to where when Google's crawling this, once again, that they are literally reading this as like, oh my gosh, this is super relevant. I see all these keywords. And it's gonna help out even with free traffic, which is amazing. So I did it for these two images and I literally wanna do it for this image, this image, and this image. So it, it takes a little bit of time because we need to kind of just um, mix these around like fish finder red, fish finder bundle. We could even put in like wireless fish finder and that's good, like we don't wanna overuse it. Once again, this was like three main terms, great. And we can like mix it up a little bit. We can actually use almost what's very similar, what I just typed in for this one. I could actually switch the order around a little bit or mix and match what I used up top and that'll help me kind of with ideas. But that's what I like to do for all of these images. But obviously the best is if we can think of some different terms for each of these, these images, because it gives us a big, bigger chance to rank in different spots. Um, because for image search, when people are literally searching on Google, they, that our image will show up and we can literally get free traffic that way. And so it's, it's really cool. So this is a really unique hack. Um, so go ahead and apply this right away. And uh, we're gonna continue in the other videos.